हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज शैलजा विभूते लेक्चरर इन फिजिक्स गोक्टे पी यू कॉलेज ऑफ कॉमर्स एंड सैंस बेलगामी टूडे लेटस्ट स्टार्ट थर्ड चैप्टर करंट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी वेटेज फॉर दिस चैप्टर इज थर्टीन मार्क्स बिग चैप्टर बट वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग वन Electricity is all around us, and most of us use it every day. But do you know what electricity is? To really understand electricity, first we have to start with an atom. Everything in the universe is made up of atoms. Atoms are very very small, and are building blocks of everything. Inside the atom. protons neutrons and electrons are present let us give importance to electron number of electrons is not the same for all atoms the number of electrons in an atom can change because electrons can move between atoms electricity is the flow of electric charges from one point to another this flow of electrons is called current electrons can move in all materials but they can move through some materials better than other if electrons can move quickly and easily in a material that material is called conductor so a conductor is any material that allows electric current to flow from one point to another you are observing the electrons are moving from one atom to another atom and the material is allowing the electric charges to flow so these are conductors usually metals are good conductors of electricity the opposite of conductor is insulator an insulator is a material that does not let electrons to move well and does not conduct electricity plastic rubber glass these are insulators students have you seen inside a connecting wire the inside is usually made up of copper or another conductive metal while the outside is made up of plastic or insulator the copper wire helps for electron flow while plastic coating helps to keep the electricity from being wasted and prevent us from getting shock to use electric current two things are necessary first one is we have to create a complete path for the charges to flow uh, we can achieve it by using connecting wires then the second one is necessary energy should be supplied to charges this is done by using battery if we give complete path with the help of source of energy then it is called electric circuit an electric circuit is like a race track of conductive material that let the electrons flow in specific way for example now let us try to light a bulb so what we need we need a battery then we need connecting wires with that you can take a switch now observe here so this is battery connected then the switch then finally the bulb once the switch is closed electron starts flowing so bulb glows you can see it once again 
battery is connected means you are supplying the energy then one switch is used and the connecting wires are giving the proper path once the switch is closed bulb glows because electrons are flowing so now let us study about current what is current then it is the rate of flow of charges through a conductor of any cross section rate of flow of charges through a conductor of any cross section if q is charge which flows through a conductor in a time t then i is equal to q divided by t if the flow of charges is uniform then the current is steady current then the formula to calculate current is i is equal to q divided by t if the flow of charges is non uniform then the current is called instantaneous current to calculate this instantaneous current we have to use the formula i is equal to dq divided by dt dq is the small amount of charge which flows through a conductor in small interval of time dt in the slide you are observing a wire and electrons inside the wire are represented by small e you can see the direction of flow of charges there then here you are observing one circle like structure here it is nothing but it is cross section means you mark part in that one and you have to see the number of electrons passing through this cross section in a time interval t that gives current i now let us see some points about current the si unit of current is ampere it is denoted by capital a even though electric current has both magnitude and direction it is a scalar quantity this is because the value of electric current does not depend on its direction that is the current in a wire remains unchanged if it is bent tied with a knot so it is a scalar quantity the current in domestic appliances is of the order of an ampere while current in electronic circuits is in the range of micro ampere or milli ampere micro means 10 raised to minus 6 and milli means 10 raised to minus 3 means it is very small amount of current very interesting one current through our nerves it is of the order of micro ampere there are two types of current one is direct current dc second one is alternating current ac what is direct current the unidirectional flow of charges is called direct current means charges does not change the direction with respect to time you are observing in the slide the charges are moving in only one direction continuously so this is dc what is ac then the current whose magnitude changes with respect to time even the direction reverses periodically means current changes its direction with respect to time i think you can observe it clearly once charges are flowing in one direction and even it can it is flowing in another direction also 
means current is changing its direction so this is ac now let us take about current carriers the charged particles which constitutes electric current in case of solids liquids and gases are known as current carriers now first let us take solids solids can be classified as conductors insulators and semiconductors in case of conductors free electrons or valence electrons are the charge carriers insulators doesn't allow the charges to flow so no current carriers in case of semiconductors electrons and holes are the charge carriers now second one liquids positive and negative ions are the charge carriers now third one in case of gases at low pressure and high potential difference positive ions and electrons are the charge carriers now let us take direction of current by convention the direction of flow of positive charge gives the direction of current this current is called conventional current the direction of flow of electrons gives the direction of electronic current you can observe in the slide conventional current is from positive to negative and electronic current is from negative to positive means the direction of electron current is opposite to the conventional current the direction of conventional current is indicated using arrows in a circuit from positive terminal of a cell to negative terminal so all these points are like introduction to electricity in the next class more about current current density and other points let us learn in next class Thank you.